My name is Jason Haynes. I'm Project Director at Lingenfelter Performance Engineering, and I'm responsible for some of the engineering of our new products, electronics, data acquisition, and uh, engineering of uh, fuel system related components. Lingenfelter Performance Engineering has long been involved in the GM small block and to a lesser extent big block of high performance. Really got into the EFI market in the, in the early 80s with the with Corvette and have really gotten into the consumer market with those vehicles and then followed through on that. We install the Magnuson Supercharger systems on Corvettes, Camaros, uh, and then also on the GM truck applications. Obviously, there's an advantage for being able to fit under the stock hood in, in the Corvette application. You know, some customers don't want to have to change the hood, and the hood is a, an added cost that uh, doesn't necessarily give them a performance advantage. You know, some people want the appearance, but you can still put a hood on a, a vehicle that's got the heartbeat, but you don't have to. So that's an advantage uh, for those customers that want that more uh, hidden or sleeper look than compared to uh, having to change the hood. And then also, obviously, the cost difference of not having to do that is an advantage. You can put it off or not do it at all. Uh, then also the uh, increased uh, intercooler area and inter increased uh, intercooler performance was a, uh, an advantage uh, as well. And, and then the fact that the uh, inlet restriction through the new uh, inlet design and the way the air is presented to the front of the TBS 2300 blower uh, allowed it to make more horsepower than we were able to do in the past uh, Magnuson uh, systems. So that's, uh, you know, we always want more horsepower. We were testing the, the Heartbeat Supercharger system against the previous generation Magnuson Supercharger system and then also against some of the OEM uh, systems based off the TDS 2300. And we wanted to test them at the same pulley ratios that we normally test them at uh, for our street vehicle applications, but then we also wanted to test at the extremes of the, of the pulley speeds and supercharger speeds just to see just how much we could make out of the Heartbeat system and see where the restrictions and where the differences were in, in performance. So we were engine dyno testing, measuring inlet restriction, outlet boost, and then also restriction across the intercooler cores, and then temperature across the intercooler core compared to intercooler in, or engine in temperature. We found that uh, this is the most horsepower we've ever made out of a TVS 2300. Uh, we, uh, we got to 918 horsepower uh, with over 700 foot-pounds of torque, above 2,000 RPM. So uh, pretty good numbers, uh, especially for a you know, 2.3 liter supercharger in a very streetable uh, combination. Obviously that was with uh, race, race gas and, and full spark timing. So it's not something that you know the guy might drive every day in that configuration, but uh, definitely something with a pulley change and some good gas. You could go to the drag strip and uh, lay down some really good numbers, and then uh, you know dial back the tune a little and puts it home. <laughs>